بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو ٹرولی ڈاٹ پاکستان بلاگ یوٹیوب چینل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس فیکٹرز دیٹ افیکٹ ایگریکلچر ان پاکستان میک شیور دیٹ یو واچ دی ویڈیو ٹل دی اینڈ ون آف دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ فیکٹر دیٹ افیکٹس ہارویسٹنگ ان پاکستان آر ایچ وائی ویز اور جی ایمز ایچ وائی وی اسٹینڈس فار ہائی یلڈنگ ورائٹیز اینڈ جی ایم اسٹینڈس فار جینیٹیکلی ماڈیفائڈ سیڈس لیٹس ہیو اے لک ایٹ سم میرٹس آف دیز سیڈس دیز سیڈس گرو کمپیریٹیولی فاسٹر دین دیسی ورائٹیز دا سیو ٹائم فار دا نیکسٹ ہارویسٹ دے آر ڈراؤٹ ریزسٹنٹ اینڈ آر آئیڈیل ٹو گرو اکراس ڈفرینٹ ٹرینس دیز سیڈس موسٹلی ہیو ہائی کوالٹی ایز دے آر امپورٹڈ فار ایگزامپل پاکستان امپورٹس سیڈس فار ویٹ ہارویسٹ دیز سیڈس آر آئیڈیل فار کمرشل فارمس اینڈ مے پروڈیوس ڈبل دا یلڈ ایز کمپیئر ٹو دیسی ورائٹیز ہاؤ ایور دا جی ایمس اینڈ ایچ وائی ویز آلسو ہیو سم ڈی میرٹس دیز سیڈس مے بی ویری ایکسپینسو اینڈ دا لوکل فارمرس مائٹ ناٹ بی ایبل ٹو افورڈ دیم سنس دے آر امپورٹڈ These seeds also require technical knowledge for application and many farmers might not know the right time for their plantation or harvesting. These seeds also raise import bill of Pakistan. They need regular irrigation for proper growth and they require application of chemical fertilizers which itself is very expensive. Another human factor which affects the farming in Pakistan are chemical fertilizers. Let's have a look at the merits of chemical fertilizers. Chemical fertilizers encru- encourage the plant growth. There are several varieties already available in Pakistan, but small farms mostly use manure from cows or horses and they save money in the investment of the farm. Large farmers use chemical fertilizers which Pakistan is producing in different industries across the country. For the growth of rice, nitrogenous fertilizers are ideal. For sugarcane, potash is ideal. And for the growth of maize, wheat, cotton and other minor crops, phosphates are best. Fertilizers also have some demerits. The fertilizers have a high demand but less local production results in some gap in the availability of these chemical fertilizers. The expensive chemicals which are imported to make or produce the chemical fertilizers increase the import bill, the overall price of these fertilizers. So again, they are out of reach of many farmers which are working on small scale farms. There is also not enough local training for farmers for the application of these chemical fertilizers and in the end they might end up in injuring themselves by using them improperly. The demand for nitrogenous fertilizers in Pakistan is 75% of the production and potash and phosphates are 25% of the production. Chemical fertilizers not only affect the capital invested in the farm for the farmer but it also affects and damages the environment for example a continual use of chemical fertilizers on a farm may end up resulting in leaching in this process the topmost layer or the topsoil loses all the nutrients and they subside in the subsoils chemical fertilizers also become a part of the water cycle and may cause acid rains later on in the year moving on there's another human factor which is farm machinery farm machinery also has some merits which are they are ideal for commercial farms because commercial farms are spread across hectares many machines such as threshers are available readily in pakistan and they are locally assembled as well The demand of threshers rises during the harvest season 
and many farmers hire them on rent. Farm implements make the work faster and they save the harvesting time, which is best for some crops such as sugarcane, which must be harvested immediately and transported quickly to the industry so that the processing can start quickly. Farm machinery also helps in making value-added products, for example, polishing of rice, sorting of oranges, and again, cutting the stalks of sugarcane on the farm before it, they are being crushed. Farm implements increase earning by increasing the exports. As said earlier, they lessen the burden on manual labor and the task is done efficiently. But farm machinery also has some demerits. They run on expensive fuel and the ever-changing fuel prices affect the productivity of these machines as well. They might end up in high import bill since the fuel and the farm machine both are imported in Pakistan. At times, the varied inconsistent government policies of importing these machines may discourage the farmers also. There are not many locally trained uh, people who can operate or fix these machines and sometimes spare parts might not be local, locally available. These machines or increased use of these machines may end up increasing unemployment in the country since one machine is replacing probably 10 or more people. Continual use of farm machinery also can raise environmental concerns. For example, when farm implements such as harvesters or tillers are used in the farm, the subsoils are rotated with the topsoil. This exposes the earthworms on the surface which are picked up by the birds. And after a couple of years, the fertility of soil which is naturally maintained by the movement of earthworms in the soil will be gone completely. This would make the soils hard and unable to cultivate totally. Another natural factor is pests and diseases. Let's have a look at some hazards these pests and diseases cause on different crops. One crop which is highly affected by several pests and diseases is cotton. Cotton is adversely affected by leaf curl virus due to white fly. Another common virus that affects cotton crop is fruit shedding virus. When the plants are affected by this virus, the fruit falls before fruition takes place. It means that the fruit will not ripen and there will be no harvest, leaving the farmer at a total loss. Apart from these two viruses, July, August and September, monsoon and post-monsoon time is for floods. This is also the time when the cotton crops are standing in the fields. Thunderstorm, hail and strong winds also affect the crops adversely. Strong winds can bend the crop, damaging or stopping its growth completely. Apart from that, droughts and heat waves, which are unexpected, can also cause the burning of crops or the crops can wither as well. As you can see, mealy bugs also affect the plants of cotton. They kill the cotton plants even though there might be some harvest. Not only that the mealy bugs are damaging the plant, reducing the harvest, but they also reduce the type or the quality of cotton. In this case, the cotton might be discolored and thus affecting the total profit which the farmer is expecting from this crop. Not only the mealybugs affect the large-scale crops, they also affect everyday harvest or market gardening. As you can see that the vegetables can also be affected by these mealybugs. As a result, the harvests will be lower. Weeds is another natural factor in which the local desi seed varieties might start growing as contaminants along with the HYVs of cotton. In this case, the HYVs might not grow fully and the desi seed varieties might take over. 
wheat control is compounded by the CLCV problem as well. What is CLCV problem? CLCV is cotton leaf curl virus. The more chances of weed, the more chances of CLCV will be there in your field. This is one of the major diseases of cotton in Pakistan. The main symptom of CLCV is the thickening of the veins of the leaf. The infected plant also exhibits yellowing of small veins on the lower surface and leaf curling. Not only this, when the fruition takes place and the cotton bowls start to flower, the cotton might turn black, brown or yellow and the quality would reduce. So the profits will also reduce for the farmer. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to truly.pakistanblog YouTube channel.